I'm Grandpa Gary and I just got here I'm so excited to get out here with the pits today but man it's windier than I thought it was gonna be and uh, I can hear it rustling through the trees back there uh, the winds coming from the south but it's not very warm I can tell you that we are below freezing and the wind is definitely in the above 10 range I didn't check to see what it was but it's pretty strong but I made in the pits in about this same amount of wind or maybe even a little more and I know it can handle it so we're gonna get it up in this air and or in this wind and have some fun let's do it <clears throat> I wanted to try to zoom in just a little bit today let's try right about right about there let's try that and uh, get my hat turned around so there was a few people said the video quality was pretty decent yesterday I'm using a new app that is supposed to be streaming in 1080 uh, because uh, I don't even know when, but sometime in the last year, uh, the Streamlabs app that I was using stopped streaming in high definition. And so I thought I would try to get it back with another app. All right, we're taking off that direction towards the snow. I think we'll be okay. Let's do it. You can see the wind turned it pretty quick. One of the things that I know about when I zoom in is it's important to, to keep turning my head because when I'm not zoomed in, you guys still get it on the screen, but if, if I zoom in, sometimes I don't turn my head quite far enough and you guys lose it off the side of the screen so that was some test laps for the for the video I want to see what it looks like we're gonna get some you can see that wind is messing with it quite a bit one thing I did I here we go I did have the gains turned down. I got them turned back up. Maybe that'll help some with the wind here. I am flying just a slightly bigger battery than I normally do in this airplane. There we go, a knife edge. Carried it a little bit farther out just to maintain it there. Here you go, kind of giving it that full scale look right there. Up a little bit higher so it looks like it's overhead. Let's take it into the stall turn. This is absolutely one of my favorite airplanes to fly, guys. This is, when I go out the watch some local stunt pilots I'm always ecstatic to see this airplane it's just even in person it's a pretty airplane and it's the one thing interesting about it is it's so small that you could you can kind of stand back and imagine if it were just a tiny bit smaller you could make it RC you know it is it is a really small aircraft now I think this one is supposed to look like a, a, a two-seater they make it in a two-seat and a one-seat aircraft and I think this is supposed to be based on the two-seater of course they sit front and back wind just kicked up just as I was getting there and it kind of stopped and is kiting. We'll give it a little bit extra throttle as we turn back down the wind. 
just to make sure we keep some air speed. So I usually do all my rolls right to left, but because the wind's so strong, I don't want to get it upside down in the downwind. I was going to roll it right there, but it started curling back towards me. You can see it kind of floating through that turn right there. As I was turning away, it was kind of sagging. So I got the timer set for four minutes. And uh, that was the four minutes. Now, like I said, I am using a 4,500 milliamp hour battery today versus the 4,000 that I usually use. So I'm good for probably at least one more pass. Although it is chilly out, so let's start looking at that landing. We don't want to go too slow and slam down. right at my feet here hopefully you guys could see some of that you know the landing wasn't that great let's take off and land it again you can see it kind of turned to the right just a hair bit so let's get it over the shed and bring it in at a slight angle here There we go, I'll take that one. Hopefully you guys can see that landing. I'm not sure how well it's gonna taxi back here, but we'll try. Not too much power here. A lot of this is, I'm still, sorry, but I'm testing this new app and zooming it in. I just wanted to see how it looked, guys. So throttle cut on, especially for a bigger airplane like this, it, uh, it's got a lot of power. It's 6S and definitely can cut a finger, so guys, what all I can say about today is, you guys, can you read it? Is it backwards? I think it's backwards, but you know what it says it says Wayne's world and party on you know so <laughs> I'm just happy to be out here flying RC and uh, this pits by FMS man I just absolutely love this airplane uh, there's been a few airplanes by FMS that I really love that P47 man, I'm I'm telling you what I'm probably gonna break down and buy another one because it flew so good before I crashed it, and it's just kind of, it's not perfect, you know, and I want it perfect again, so there's a good chance I'm going to get another one. Anyways, just happy to be out here, guys. Big thanks to the Lord, of course, and I appreciate all your guys' support, and uh, I seen that Kevin Trappin said it in the chat yesterday, if you're a Patreon, I mailed those stickers out, so be watching for them. And until tomorrow, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here. Yeah, it's pricey, but man, I really like it.